this is it. Day of truth. Um, we're about to uh, put Coro in the water. Travel lift is coming in about half an hour to pick us up. And um, let's see if uh, all the work we've done is holding up. <laughs> like through hauls, for example. Very nervous about that. We were very excited when the marina staff finally came over and got Koru ready to be lifted and hauled over to the slip, which was approximately 5 centimeters wider than the boat itself. It was tight, but Thomas and the boys were super professional and handled the launch very well. As soon as we hit the water, we opened the seawater intake and cranked the engines. Like a boss, both of them came to life immediately. The through holes were holding up just fine, but after a few seconds, the holes which connects to the mixing elbow broke loose and spilled seawater all over the starboard engine compartment. Luckily we have time because there was um, a 17 meter ship planned to come in this morning right after us. But they had uh, engine problems as well, so uh, they had to cancel. So lucky for us. And Fu tries to fix the part that's broken. Maybe, maybe if it's still long enough, he can like just cut a little piece and then. They're different sizes. Like oh, the... seriously. This this piece here. Like you can see now, it like it, it, it grows in in this direction. So I can't like take this off and put it, you know, right to the to the elbow or whatever. So that was fixed before. I don't know. I think it needs like some kind of an adapter, like because there are different sizes. So I don't know. Nine thirty, they open up right at the shop. Yes. I'm, I'm, I will try to do this first. Okay, then. so so maybe as a um, just to, to hold it till we are at our birth and then we go and buy a new piece. Yeah. Okay. So. It would be a bummer though if it doesn't <laughs> hold up. Yeah. That would. So, full fixed what was broken already in no time and um, well now we are on the way every now and then could you check if there is water coming out on the side but yeah in case you're wondering what exactly broke here it is there's a hose coming from the seawater intake which delivers water for cooling the engine exhausts the hot fumes and the seawater are getting mixed up in the mixing elbow the little nozzle that attaches to the hose was worn out and came loose, so I replaced it with a fresh piece of reinforced heat resistant tube and we were good to go. Awesome to finally be in the water. We practiced a few docking maneuvers at the wall next to the dry dock and off we went to find our berth in the marina. Both of us were super nervous as you probably can imagine. When we made the arrangements to leave the dry dock, we let the marina staff know it'll be our first time maneuvering Kuru, so we asked for a big berth, and we got it. Our spot was in between two 50-foot monster cats, but there was plenty of space for us, since this dock was usually for boats of 15 meters and bigger.
so cool. Oh. Like, look this. That, this <laughs> is the greatest. It's, I, I, it's our it's our TV. Yeah. Yeah. Water is a bit greenish. And uh, the slime lands are super slimy and dirty. Our whole boat was like extremely dirty. So uh, we have to find a solution for that. What's happening? We forgot to take off the scotch, like how do you call the scotch? Like, tape. The marks, the marks, we left them. For the slings, you know, where the slings go. Um, for the travel left, but we forgot to take it away. So now we have to take the dinghy and go around. to clean <laughs> would be actually yeah we always complained when I uh, was cleaning our tables back home like this but here she doesn't seem to have a problem <laughs> Just as we got used to life on the water, when during a regular engine check I discovered a milky slimy substance in our sail drives. We had water in the oil, and that only means one thing, haul out and change the shaft seals. I must say that quickly ruined our day. But we took it like every other boat owner would, swear like a pirate and get it done. Luckily got fixed and we were back in the water the same day, but we could definitely use a break. <laughs> All very exciting stuff. Holy smokes, that's cool. Today, um, our very good friend Jörg is coming to visit us, and Ria has no idea. I didn't tell her. Um, so, um, yeah, we're gonna surprise her. She has no clue. Morning, babe. <laughs> morning. <laughs> Where's my beautiful morning? Where's my coffee? It's in the coffee maker. Oh, okay. It's all done. It's waiting for you. Awesome. But you said you never get up. <laughs> yes, that's true. I did say that. But um, now I'm up getting coffee. What are we doing, sweetie? We are adjusting our sails. So what we still have to do is um, to change the main halyard mm -hmm. and we also bought a, a nice Windex to put up mainly for me because it's easier for me <laughs> to... Hey, huh? There's a freaking... check this out. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> That's not you. Did you know? You knew it? Of course. It? <laughs> So who is it? <laughs> it's our friend Jörg. <laughs> I think he brought a lot of shit with him. Oh my so God, we get better go and uh, help him help him unpack. <laughs> It wasn't that long, you know I can't keep secrets. <laughs>
brought some stuff that we packed for him a while back. So we're getting ready to rename um, our boat. Officially. Officially. That was uh, the name she had before. I'm, I don't know if you're supposed to say it or not now. Anyways, after the ritual, we're not gonna say the name anymore. Um, Ria is crossing out all the uh, all the names on all the the, the paperwork and from the pre-owner. Yeah, and it's on on everything. So now, right now, we're starting with the dinghy. There's the name, and on the other side as well. So we're. Uh, we're using like these that tarp, you know, and uh, just uh, like blew it over and then uh, rewrite it with the uh, white adding or whatever. So let's get this party started. Before we're starting anything, we have to figure out how these complicated bottles work. Well, uh, we'll figure it out when it's weirdo. Okay. So we gather here to uh, officially name our boat. We already named it, but now we're gonna do that officially. So I have to read this because I, <laughs> I don't know the words. Okay. Almighty and great ruler of the seas and oceans, to whom all ships. I'll spare you the whole speech, because I did it over and over and over again. So let's better get straight to the alcohol pouring. Euros exhaled, ruler of the east. We have to do this again. Sorry? I have to do it again. What? To um, to Coru. To Coru. Our new life. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 Let's just say we didn't waste another drop of alcohol and had a few more drinks that night. We plan to go for our first sale with our new friends Maggie, Trevor and Jeff. Thank you guys for all the useful tips and tricks he showed us. And thanks for the help with the reefing lines. It was a bit of a mystery to all of us, I think. Falling along the beach, blue sky, white sands, water crystal clear. Can feel from far and near your joy, laughter, and happiness. So I looked around me, cutie, but a palm tree caught my eye and gave me a smile. We played around with our ground tackle and made ourselves familiar with the equipment and finally raised our sails. What a great feeling to be sailing for the first time with your own boat. Did she fall out on a rock magazine or am I still dreaming? Thanks for watching people, 
Join us next time when we do more of what we do best and welcome our friend Christine, who we put to work immediately. We anchor out in the bay for the first time and get some more bulwark done to finally start a voyage south to Buriana, where we first met Koru.